I've known Betty forever and she's known me forever and she is the queen of peace education, not just in the United States, but I would be glad to say, with all due respect to all my peace education friends in the world, the purpose of peace education is to develop in citizens critical capacities, knowledge of conflict resolution, but most of all, <clears throat> to help them to realize that it's quite possible to transcend these problems if we engage in the appropriate learning. We've been studying conflict prevention for years, and we know so many ways of sitting down and talking and offering gestures of what we can do to avoid violent conflict. The first thing I think that most citizens need to do is to inform themselves. I think the greatest obstacle we have is ignorance. Mm -hmm. And people don't know that there are alternatives, there are options that could be taken by our leaders. So they don't know enough to call those leaders to task and hold, pardon me for the violent phrase, but holding their feet to the fire in terms of uh, taking into consideration options other than force. The average person can sit down and think and talk and exchange views and read and listen and learn what the issues are. And then they can go to their nearest peace organization or human rights organization and volunteer to help. I think you have to think about what you feel passionate about. Because if you have no passion, you can't survive in the field. One of the first jobs that I ever applied for in my life was with, with an interracial council. And that was in 50s, one or two or something like this. And I remember the man who interviewed me said, are you ready to do this for the rest of your life? because it's going to take the rest of your life. But it's going to be a lot of fun, I can tell you that. <laughs> no, uh, it's not just all a lot of fun, but it's a rewarding thing to do because uh, whatever you do has some meaning.